Welcome back to another Battle Wagon Adventure. Today I have two surprises. The first is that I just painted the car and someone already ran into it. Yeah. I had it parked right there at the end of the driveway, right in that spot next to the Mustang, and somebody backed that trailer directly into the bumper. The reason I'm annoyed is not because I give a shit about the bumper, it's because I literally just fucking painted the thing. And more than that, I mean, it clearly cut into the bumper, so now I have to worry about it peeling back because it's a few sizable area. I mean, that's, you know, five inches or so. So that's a little bit annoying, but you know, I'll probably wait till the spring to repaint it anyway because battle wagon, whatever. It's more of a nuisance than anything only because I just painted it. Shit happens, I guess. And ready for the other great battle wagon surprise? Boom. So I got the aluminum TMS roof rack off of Amazon. I think it was about, uh, give or take $100 with shipping. This doesn't show it real well, but this thing is massive. It's about 39 by 50 or so. The lettering on the front I actually did myself, it didn't come like that. So what I did is I covered it with a couple layers of masking tape and I literally just Googled like mill standard stencil generator or like mill standard 130 stencil, something like that. And there was something that generated it. So I just scaled it up, uh, printed it out, resized it a bunch of times to make it actually fit. Then I had a couple layers of painter's tape down across the entire thing, lined this up very carefully, measured and then remeasured and then Remeasured, just kept doing that and I mean you can even still see a bunch of the areas where I erased pencil marks even before I had the um, The painters tape all down once you got it stenciled out Just carefully trace it with a straight edge and try to get it as close as you can I had someone help me who was a little more artsy even so I mean these edges aren't perfect, right? You got close and you can tell they're um, a little a little off especially like here on the B for example So it's not perfect, but ready another battle wagon trick Oh cool, it looks fine. So just trace it with a razor, then slowly cut through the tape and take your time with it if you want to do it. This whole thing took um, hours, frankly, to get it in the right spot. My only real complaint with this basket so far, obviously it's aluminum, I got it because it's a lot lighter. The alignment isn't perfect, it's a little tough to see, but basically the whole thing is racked a bit. It's it's a little bit torqued, it's, it's not quite level. When it gets put on the top bars of the car with the clamps that are on here that should help flatten it down a little bit but i mean you get what you paid for this was anywhere from a third to a fifth the price of a yakima rack so is it really a huge deal no for what i'll be using it for it's completely fine but yeah let's go ahead and install it i have never installed a roof rack before i've never even attempted it i've looked up no directions hopefully this will be okay but let's find out Just doing a quick test fit right now and I uh, really got to slide these feet a little bit closer together. I'm not horrible where they are, I could probably get it to go, but it's a little bit better to have them centered on the two areas you're really going to be putting stuff. So what I'm going to do now is go find a appropriate size bit for these. It's a Torx bit, so I don't know if I have one on hand. And then I'll uh, get it adjusted, put it back on. I have three of the four clamps installed now, but then when I'm looking at it, uh, this one is not lined up center on these floor racks, whereas this one is. So when I put weight on it, watch this. It's a little difficult to see, but this whole side kind of bows down. Whereas on this one, when I was pressing down on it, I got none of that. So what I'm gonna have to do now is loosen this side, slide it back, or keep sliding that side forward until this one's lined up with the center. Because of how difficult they are to loosen, I'm gonna just try sliding that one forward first, and then if I don't like where it sits, I'll loosen all four and slide all four back. Okay. 
Now I slid forward the rear rails so the front ones line up on the center of the support plate quite well. Uh, it's still pretty cocked as you can see. Not even that close. Not too far forward, I don't think. I actually kind of like the way it slopes up in line with the hood. So I'm gonna leave the rails where they are for now. If you haven't figured it out already, what I'm gonna do is loosen some of these bolts on the rack itself. Then I'm gonna clamp it down to the bars using these U-braces that came with it. And uh, that'll make sure it sits nice and flat. Then I'm gonna tighten it up. Is that what I necessarily wanted to do? No, I thought it was gonna be able to uh, just flatten on its own, but I don't think I'm gonna have that luxury today. So now we gotta do it the hard way. The roof rack is now installed. As you can see, it's still definitely cocked. That corner and the other corner are still lifted. It's not terrible. The whole thing lines up reasonably well, but definitely still moves. But you know, it's a hundred dollar rack, not a five hundred dollar rack. So whatever. Hi Goomba. Overall, I'm happy with it. I think it probably sits a little far forward, a little more so than I'd like. But um, I'll adjust it as I as I deem necessary. I just gotta loosen those, slide the whole thing back. So for now it's okay, just because I'm making sure it's installed properly and not rattling like hell on the highway and any adjustments I can just make down the road, it's easy enough to do. It's four bolts to slide it back. There you go, another battle wagon project successfully completed. Man, those are my toes. The lettering on the front wins. Sweet Volkswagen said no one ever. So there you go. The Oh, oh, uh-oh. 